here with Jimmy. We are going to answer a few questions that Trinity Gail Moreno, I don't know if I said your name right, I'm really sorry if I didn't, but um, she's had about I think 14 questions that she wanted to ask us about being Filipino and since Jimmy is like half Filipino I thought he should come and join in on this tag as well. So let's get started, are you ready? Yeah. Oh, I think that was uh, four years ago. It's been a while now. Four years ago, are you sure? Yeah, I think so. Why? <laughs> I'm pretty sure um, the last time you went was in 2010, with me anyway. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah time it's flying. like 2016. <laughs> time flies. So, it's been a while. I can't believe it's been that long. Yeah, we should go soon. The last time I went was um, back in 2012, which was about four years ago now. Um, I went with my family for a family reunion because my dad hadn't been back in like 13 years. So yeah, that was really fun. Maybe that's what you were thinking of. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I will. Hopefully this year, fingers crossed, guys. Ooh, that would be, have to be oh, a double. A question. A double? Why do you like it? I don't know. It's I don't know, that's sweet and chicken they have, uh, something I like, <laughs> being grown up with that sort of thing, you know. Yeah. Me, I really, like, I can't just pick one filo dish because I've got like a whole range of them. Oh, yeah, me too. But I guess if I had to pick one dish, I mm. would choose maybe oxtail kare kare. I don't know, I like everything, I like the kare kare, I like dinoguan, I like synagogue, I like adobo, I just like everything. <sighs> That's I really, like really hard. Food. But I think, yeah, maybe I'll go with the oxtail kare kare because it's delicious. That's yummy too. Yeah. That was a hard question. <clears throat> um, we used to have like a little karabao. Yeah. Um, and it was like the it had the Filipino flag on it. I think. Mm -hmm. I think I don't know. That's that's one thing that we have that reminds us of the Philippines. I think we bought that back in two thousand and seven or eight when we first went together. Um, but yeah, I don't think we've ever had like the big wooden spoon and forks. I think we were, I don't know, I can't remember. Yeah, I remember that one time. Did we? Yeah. Yeah. We just buy a whole bunch of stuff and uh, then just get rid of them, so. Yeah. Contilla. I mean, a little bit. Yeah. Just basic, really. Yeah. Pero ako, alam ko magtagalo, pero minsan lang ako nagtatagalo kasi wala akong practice. <laughs> so what I was pretty much saying was, I do speak Tagalog, but only sometimes because I'm like a little bit out of practice. Like, it depends on who I'm hanging out with. Um, when my mum's here, I speak in Tagalog. Sometimes when I'm out with friends, um, and I speak to them in that. But yeah, it's it's really hard with this one because I, I try and he's just like looking at me. Sometimes. Trying to think of what I'm trying to ask him to do yeah. or... But yeah, he's learning. Yeah, I'm just like scratching my head. <laughs> he like goes to pick up something and then he's just like, no, it's not it. So, yeah, he's trying, but I don't know how to speak to Gullog. Um, it's just every now and then. Minsan, minsan. Minsan lang po. I am from the North Island, Luzon. Angeles. Angeles City. It's like... I think two hours from Manila, the main capital. Yeah, that's where I was born. And I came to Australia when I was five, so that's my little life story there. Yeah, and I was actually born in the Philippines as well. I w was born in Moncada, Tarlac, which is like two hours from this guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which is pretty funny. Um, but yeah, it's like four hours, I think, north of, north of Manila. Um, and I was there for about four years until my family moved uh, in 1991. And yeah, so I, came, I actually came here before he did. Mm -hmm. and I was 92. It's, it's actually pretty good that when we go to the Philippines, because we like stop in Manila and then we go to his family and then we travel on to go to my family, yeah. which is pretty convenient. But yeah, it's pretty good. 
There's so much like stereotypical we eat rice with nearly everything. Well, I used to. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. That's, that's pretty much. Always like I love I. Mm, I wouldn't say I love rice. I. I if you ch give me a choice of like vegetables and like some kind of meat, like steak or something. Yeah. I would choose that over rice. But yeah, I don't know. This one, he loves eating rice. Um. What other stereotypical Filipino things? Oh, we like to dance, we like to sing. Yes, we do! So we own this thing, it's called The Magic Sing, and it's got like a whole bunch of songs in this book here and like I think there's like a thousand songs and you can just add some chips into it to add more songs into your microphone so this is what we've got and yeah okay let's go I think when I was really young, like maybe four years old or five, and I didn't have a choice. <laughs> but yeah, mum said I tried it before. Unlike my mum, she she had it and she used to eat the little little duck that, that was in like it was yes. obviously um, cooked. And, yeah, and so Balut is like a three week old duck egg or something. An embryo. I don't know, it has like yeah. <sighs> I don't know, I've seen it, like I remember seeing it when I was maybe like six, seven, um, and I remember seeing my dad eat it and I thought it was gross. So <laughs> I've never ever and will never Oh, uh, I think it's just the the culture we have. Like, we just like to have fun, have amazing range of food, like taste and everything. Um, my favorite thing about being a Filipino is that growing up, your families are like very close. Like, I find um, I remember in like primary school and high school, if I was to go to a friend's house, I had to be home by 5.30 just because my dad wanted to come home and see all of his family there and would eat dinner together like all the time. Um, and yeah, like Filipino tradition, you're not like, you're not supposed to move out. Like they your parents prefer you not to move out of the house when you're like turn 18 because I remember my dad and I actually had a fight because he didn't want me to leave but I grew up in Australia so I was just like I'm going to Melbourne and he did not like that he did not like that but yeah um, I met this one he likes this one so I guess his lines changed but yeah I think family the closeness um, that families have in yeah, the Filipino true. And the culture and the yeah. community. Yeah, Pretty I close. think I think that's that's my answer for that one. Ooh, that's a hard one. For me, I would say the least favorite thing would be that society always thinks that we should be maids. Like, really? Yeah. I see like beauty contests and like people putting down other Filipinos saying that we belong cleaning other people's houses when there are so many successful Filipinos like mm -hmm. a lot of them study so hard to be nurses um, they study hard to be engineers yep. um, doctors everything like that so I don't know 
why people always do that. Like I've seen, I think, I love these shows. Like in Will and Grace, <laughs> a Filipino made joke. Um, Friends, a Filipino made joke. Like, what's up with that guys? Yeah. Why should we be maids? Like, That's a tough one. Oh yeah, not being able to speak Filipino. <laughs> <laughs> Because when I go over to like Philippines and they're all like having the maddest conversations like and I'm just Yep. Yeah. Oh Hindi. Oh what do you say? She's my interpreter. <laughs> it annoys me so much. I remember the first like it was okay for the first time that we went because he he hadn't been back to the Philippines in like what, sixteen years? But yeah. every single one of them was talking to me, and then I'd just be like, so this is what they said. This yeah. is what they want you to do. This he is blah, blah, blah. Said this. They said that when you were younger, this is what you used to do. You were a little shit. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, those were kind of the stories that I had to say back to him. Um, I actually bought you an audio book so you could learn yeah. to go, but he. What, what happened to that? Throw it away somewhere. Yeah, throw it away because he doesn't use it. Such a waste. Unfortunately, we don't have Goldilocks in Australia, no. so we don't. But we went when we were in California. Is it California? Yeah. Las Vegas. Oh. We went when we were in Vegas, Vegas, and that was amazing. If we had Goldilocks. If we had Goldilocks here, then I would definitely go and eat Goldilocks on a regular basis, mm -hmm. but we don't. We don't even have Jollibee. Well... Yes, I am here. Like, I haven't been living with my family for about 10 years now, but we're still, we're still pretty close. Yeah, I'd say we're still pretty close. Like, we do... Um, what, in 2012 we went out on a family vacation um, and then just recently we went to America. Um, I try and fly up to um, go and see them up in Byron Bay as much as I can but sometimes, I think there was one year I didn't actually go home for a whole year which was pretty bad of me. Um, that was when I first moved to Melbourne but I've been trying to go home every like two or three times a year. Yes, of course we do. We've got Jen and her family. We've got um, Jimmy's best friend uh, and his family. Obviously our sister-in-law and her family. We have like a whole bunch, but you don't really see them. Like we've got Sam and Nina, which we see every now and then. Like we try and organize like a dinner or a lunch mm -hmm. when we can. But yeah, and Donna, she used to live with us and Richard. And Richard, yeah. And yeah, it's just we do have like quite a few Filipino friends actually come to think of it. Yeah. More than I. Yeah. There's a lot. And there's like a lot that we know but we don't really like hang out with. Mm. So yeah, we have a few Filipino friends. So that was all the questions that Trinity has asked us. If you guys have any questions about Jimmy and I, we will gladly answer them. Just comments below, um, even like video suggestions that you want us to do, we'll do it. Like I know some of you guys like seeing this face in my videos. So let, let us know and I'll get Jimmy to come and feature in them too. Oh baby. I will put the questions below that Trinity had and if you guys want to do this too, be my guest because it was actually a good vlog. Like, oh, I had fun with it, did you? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It made me think actually. Like, I don't really <laughs> yeah, think yeah, about our think. Filipino culture mm -hmm. as much until Trinity was like, boom! Right in the face. <laughs> it's like, boom! What is this? Um, yeah, so we enjoyed doing this video. Thank yeah. you so much, Trinity. Thank if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If not, then that's okay. I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. I don't know where the button is. Maybe I'll put it on his face. Okay. Bye.